We're at the Bolodell Reserve on Bainbridge Island. We finally got a membership. We're not going to do the rhododendron in Fife anymore. I'm kind of tired of that one. Yeah, nice path though. Look at this. So the membership is $100 a year for two people. Wow, that is neat. So they're doing some construction and beeping. But there's the gift shop. Yeah, this is really nice so far. I wonder if they mow this grass. Probably not. So this are these used to be sheep sheds. And there's Yeah, this path is awesome. So it's two miles if you do this loop. Wow, some big trees here. So here's some white flowers, and we think those are daffodils getting ready. And they're just underneath this tree. But um, we're gonna get back on the trail. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever been here. It's really neat so far. Now we're gonna go into the woods, it looks like. trees oh here's a rhododendron right here not even close to blooming oh there's a whole bunch we're surrounded by them wow we do have to come back here when these are blooming There's lots of ferns. Oh, there was a bird there. Ah, oh, this is neat. Wow. This will be fun to sit in the spring and if there's birds. It's a nice bench. Something's been digging on that island. I wonder if it's a beaver. Wow, this is neat. Oh, they have these um, those little green reed things you pull apart. I can hear frogs.
All right, we are leaving that little boardwalk area. Oh wow, there's more sitting areas along the pond bench over there. Ooh, here's a nice bridge. So this is the overflow from the pond, it looks like. It goes under that bridge. Oh wow. They're doing proper drainage here. The pipe. Oh, I can do this at our house by our pond. This is what I should do. Neat. How did they do this? Huh. Pretty neat. So we're overlooking the pond, this little knoll, and there's little purple flowers coming up everywhere. And I think we think some yellow ones too. So there's some ducks out there. Okay, we are coming up on the wetlands, I think. Bridge. Wow. This is neat. Oh, I think this just goes over a creek. Yep. These are tall pilings. Look at that. That's neat. If only our creek was like this. Yeah, this is neat. We hear frogs everywhere. There's something down there. Oh, I think we go down there. A little boardwalk we walk in. Oh, I wonder if there's tree frogs here. Bet they are. Oh, this is neat. I like how they made this little bridge type thing over the wetlands. Wow. Stream. Oh wow, that's a big tree rip ball that fell over.
All right, we're going up back into the forest. Oh, look at that nurse tree growing out of the stump. Oh, they're all over here. There's like three of them up there. Here's a good one. Oh wow, here's a really nice pond. Oh my gosh, and a big house. Jeez, somebody rich used to live here. <laughs> wow. Look at that. And there's like a Japanese type thing over there. So we think we can go inside this house in front of us we're looking at. This looks like we're in England. Look at that. That is neat. I don't want to walk on the grass. So now we're on a nice driveway. This would be fun to come when it's sunny and warm. Look at that. Now I see why it costs $20 a person. Wow. So we're going to go inside this house. They could totally film a TV show or movie here. How neat would that be? They can do Downton Abbey in Washington. <laughs> this would be pretty neat if they had a series here. Look at that. And that's where we're going later. So this is the Bloedel house. Wow. My living room. Jeez. It's a fireplace. So here's the dining room. So a timber Glodell is a timber person. This is a little kitchen. Jeez. So we just got out of the house. It was incredible. But I love these trees. They have one at um, the Seattle Arboretum, I think. Wow. Oh, that's pretty neat. You could sled down this if it snowed. <laughs> and there is the sound. Got the mountains in the distance. Yeah. And here's the back of the house. Yeah, this is neat. Oh, and here's a daffodil blooming. Oh my gosh, full blown open. First one of the year. First daffodil of the year. Wow, this is neat. This lawn, can you imagine if you had weddings here and stuff? I wonder if they do that. Make some money. But there's a waterfall down here, he said, and we're gonna walk by. I think I hear a waterfall. Oh, 
Oh, neat. Jeez. I wish we had a waterfall. That is neat. Look at this bush starting to bloom. Wow, those are all rhododendron in front of us. That is going to be neat. All right, so I'm not sure where we're going now, but I'm sure it's going to be neat. I think we're almost done. Yeah, this is the Bloedel Reserve, if you're on the Kitsap Peninsula. Oh my gosh, so there's a log across the creek, and there's all kinds of like trees and shrubs trying to grow on it. Yeah, this place is incredible. That's neat. Rotten log. Some flowers coming up. So it is February like 11th, I think. 12th? I can't remember. So we're basically in the middle of February and it's, things are starting to grow. Oh, these trees are neat. Wow. The white bark. That is neat. Uh, this is neat. Surely these aren't. I wonder if they're birch trees. You see how the bark kind of peels off. It's really neat. Oh my gosh. Which way? Let's go this way first. Wow. More roadies. Uh, I wonder if these are blueberries. It'd be neat if they have blueberries growing. All right. I think this is a dead end, but we got to check it out. It's gonna be a long video. Oh my gosh, we're down by the water. Oh, it's cold here. Wow, so we're looking back up at the house. Here's one last view of the water. Big old barge out there. Oh, there's a hummingbird there. Yeah, we'll have to come back when the leaves are starting to bloom. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine when the leaves are turning color to fall. I bet it's really neat too. This place is definitely a gym. I mean, this, this path is two miles long. It's a nice little sitting area. So we're not sure what these bushes are, um, and they don't have tags on them, name tags. Wow. Oh, look at these little things. I have no idea what they are. Little white flowers. Oh, they smell. Jeez. They smell really good. <laughs> They're all over here. I like those. I want those. We need to have it in our yard. Oh, it's a neat tree. Bad sun angle. 
Ah, there's a fence there. That must be their neighbor's property. Ah, another waterfall. Wow. It's, oh my god, yeah, these things smell really good. Oh, look at this tree. Look at these purple flowers. Wow, those are primroses. I know that. Primrose. That's a nice pond. Jeez, and here's a bunch of white flowers. Yeah, this is really fun. This is gonna be incredible when the rhododendrons start blooming. And these are hella Boris. Oh, that's neat. That's a giant roadie, I think, right there with the big leaves. Wow, it's neat. Oh, that is neat. Look at these little red berries. Oh my gosh, they're all over here. Look at that. Oh, this looks like a western red cedar. They cut all the low branches off. I love that fence they made. Oh yeah. So we found the irises that are blooming. Jeez. Neat. There's those red berries in there. Ah, we're on the back side of the waterfall now. Wow, there it is. Oh, this is a little, I think this gets um, flowers. Wow, look at all the primroses. Jeez, I want primroses like this. <laughs> Some ducks. Wow, their water is so much clearer than ours. <laughs> uh, all right, we better get back on the path. Look at all these primroses. <laughs> Jeez. So neat. Yeah, this place is huge. Check out that big stump. Jeez. Wow. This place is huge. Uh, so we're back by the the nice pond before we got to the house. 
I love this grass. Jeez. Why doesn't our grass look like this? <laughs> we should ask them how they keep the algae out of it. Oh, so I don't think we're supposed to go this way. All right, to this other structure. Oh, I wonder if these are cherry trees. Maybe. I love this stone path. These stones are not cheap. Wow, this is neat. Oh, yeah, this is the Japanese like thing. Oh, that was neat. Let's look at the inside of this. How neat would that be to open the doors? Jeez. So we are going to go this way, a little loop down here. Oh, nope, this is dead end. So I love this black grass. We have some, it, I think it spreads pretty easy. All right, now we're on the right trail. Look at the moss covering. There's the Japanese building. Oh, that's a neat root ball on that tree. Oh, this is neat. Oh my gosh, look at this. And in the summer, this would be dry, I bet. Wow, and I was really surprised when I heard it was $20 if you don't have a membership. But um, we kind of decided it's worth paying $20 for. <laughs> We're probably gonna spend two hours here and there's hardly anything blooming yet. Neat, so they made this. There's the Japanese house. So we're gonna walk around this pond. They must have a dozen landscapers here that work here. Oh, they hire that many at times of the year, I bet. 
Oh, sie geht. Ah, so here is the big house. All right. So we're out of the Japanese area. So they do have a few um, cherry trees, we found out. So they have 12 landscapers working around here. And some of them are arborist. Wow, I just love how they left these logs and planted stuff around them. And they make their own mulch somehow. Wow, I mean, look at this. It's neat. Oh, that's neat. Looks like there's a lily. Well, I wonder if they have lilies in there in December. Jeez. That is neat. That's like a secret garden back there. And now we're back in the wild. I almost wonder if it was a pool. back in the day. Wow. So this is a camellia, we think. Wow, it is very fragrant in here. Alright, so my battery went dead. I just had to change it. I'm not sure um, how the last video, little segment's gonna turn out. I might have lost it. That's alright. Oh my god, here's another camellia blooming up ahead. Jeez. Look at that. Oh, here's one at my level. Wow. Alright, I think we're almost done, so I gotta get some ferns. We're gonna go into the gift store. Try and buy a book, maybe, if we see a really good one. Oh, and I think we're almost out of the woods. All right, we are back to the big grassy metal from the beginning, going to the gift shop house. Yeah, this was really neat, and it is warm in the sun. So they used to park in this grassy field before they built their lot. I was asking them what they do. Their lot's little, and one, you know, once COVID's over, they won't have time slots. 
So I think they'll just park people in the grassy field again. Ah, here's one last look at the preserve, Bloedel Reserve. Because there's the gift shop we're going to check out and then we're done. So we were here two hours basically.